Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm David Vitale, president of the Chicago Board of Education, and on behalf of my fellow members, I want to welcome you to the public hearing held this Wednesday, February 26, 2014, in the Chicago Board of Education Chambers, the purpose of which is to receive public comment on the proposed holiday waiver to utilize <coughs> President Abraham Lincoln's birthday for school purposes. The board is scheduled to vote on this matter at its regular meeting later today. Madam Secretary, state for the record, uh, the notice procedure for this hearing. Thank you, Mr. President. Notice of this hearing was posted on the parent portal, cps.edu and cpsboe.org websites on Friday, I'm sorry, on February 20th, uh, 2014. Notifications regarding this hearing were also sent to union representatives on February 20th, 2014, and the public notice was uh, also published in the Chicago Sun-Times on February 23rd, 2014. And Mr. President, I would like to note for the record the board members that are present here today, uh, Dr. Bean and Vice President Reese, Board Member Quazo, Dr. Ascoitia, President Vitali, and I would also like to acknowledge uh, CEO Barbara Bird Bennett and our General Counsel James Bebley. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Um, Annette Gurley will open today's presentation on the holiday waiver, and then we will take public comment on this proposal and proceed with board member comments and questions. Annette. Good morning. As stated earlier, we're asking this board to grant a waiver to allow us to use President Lincoln's birthday as a day of student attendance. The Illinois State Code recognizes President Lincoln's birthday as a mandated holiday. If granted the waiver for next year, we intend to use February 12th as an attendance day for students and commemorate all President's birthdays by celebrating the holiday for President's Day instead of President Lincoln's birthday. Um, one of the reasons that we'd like to do this is that it would also put us in alignment with when the holiday is observed by many of the federal agencies as well as many of the banks in our Department of Motor Vehicles, knowing that many of our parents work for these organizations and this would also assist them. We also looked at attendance from uh, 2013 for President's Day, and we noted that on President's Day for 2013, our attendance was notably lower than our average attendance, with about 80% of our students in attendance, um, and our typical attendance is at 93.5. We looked also at teacher attendance and noted that we had about a 40% higher absentee rate uh, for that particular day. So we're asking this board to allow us to use President Lincoln's Day again as an instructional day for students. Um, and we're also asking that we exchange President Lincoln's Day as the observed holiday for President's Day as the holiday. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. Uh, Madam Secretary, let's now proceed with today's uh, public comment. Thank you, Mr. President. For the record, I would like to note that registration for this hearing was held between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8.30 this morning. Individuals who register to speak will have two <coughs> minutes to comment, and it will call speakers in the order of registration. This hearing will conclude after the last person who has signed in to speak has spoken or at 9.30 a.m., whichever occurs first. When called to the microphone, please state your name, and I will proceed by calling the first speaker. And our first speaker, Mr. President, is William Shovzlowski, please, followed by Jenny Biggs. Uh, good morning, board. My name is William Cheslovsky, and for what it's worth, I'm a local school council member at Oscar Mayer School. Um, as for this proposal, I'm, I guess, though I'm not normally neutral on anything, I'm formally neutral because you're swapping one day for another day, but hearing the last speaker, I understand between the two days why this day is probably better. When I saw this advertised, I thought I would come over for the simple reason that when I look at the school calendar and how, how balkanized it's become, um, as a general matter, I guess I'm old school because I think the kids should go to school on both of these days as a general matter. Um, most kids, if we're being real, only know President's Day because on TV they see there's a President's Day sale and same thing for Columbus Day. Uh, also, from an educator standpoint, if we sincerely want to teach our kids about our presidents or about the significance of Columbus Day, they're better off being in school on those days where teachers can actually teach them something on those days. Um, I say this in the spirit of though most people come before you to criticize, 
Uh, I compliment you over the last few years that you've instituted a more rigorous calendar. And, and from what I see as a parent in the classroom and as an LSC member, a more rig rigorous curriculum. So as a general matter, I sincerely think you should be applauded. But again, when I saw this pop up, um, continuing with this recent theme of more rigor, the kids should be in school on these days to the extent you can, also on Columbus Day. The calendar's too balkanized. Um, I looked a couple years ago. Uh, there was only one three-week period a couple years ago where the kids were in school for 15 straight days. Excuse that's, me, Mr. Cheslowski. That's no Cheslowski. longer the case. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cheslowski. Our next speaker, please, Jenny Biggs. Good morning. I just want to first of all thank you for including parents on the calendar discussions. I was in a meeting about this calendar last year and our director Wendy was in a meeting with CPS Karen Lewis. So we want to thank you for getting parents involved in this. Um, I don't have the answer to this, <laughs> and I wish I did. I, I just came today because most of our members of Raise Your Hand do support this switch from Lincoln's birthday to President's Day. Um, Parents have been saying all along uh, that many of them are off on President's Day, so it just makes more sense for their kids to be off because then they have childcare issues on Lincoln's birthday. That's a, a big argument. Um, also, we've heard from teachers who don't like the break in the week and that every year it's a different day. Uh, so a three-day weekend makes more sense, really, for the educational process. Um, we do have parents that believe both days should be off, that kids are kids and they deserve days off, so I just want to throw that out into the mix. Um, I think the most important thing with the calendar, though, is that we really need, even though we get all this feedback, and I know you're listening and, you know, honor the feedback, but there really needs to be some consistency. Um, if we're going to uh, after Labor Day start, like, let's just become an after Labor Day start district. Like, it's really important for families to have that consistency year after year. If we're going to be President's Day off, let's just be President's Day off so that we know what to expect every year. Um, and I guess that's really all I have to say. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Uh, thank you, Ms. Biggs. Uh, I would say to both of you, uh, having watched the evolution of our calendar over the last few years, uh, it has been an evolution. Uh, and to <laughs> Mr. Cheslovsky's point, I, I remember when we did some analysis of this three years ago, uh, the administration and the board, it really was a chopped up year. Uh, the number of full service weeks for our kids was very few, uh, frankly, in the whole calendar year. And I think uh, the evolution of the calendar has, uh, has been positive to, and I, we'd like to make it more consistent as we try to get it all right. Uh, but I think we have uh, uh, created more full weeks, if I can call it that, in this calendar than we've ever had before. And when we don't have full weeks, uh, the open days are tied to weekends mostly. Uh, so we appreciate your comments. I think we have moved in the right direction. And uh, I assure you, we would also like consistency as we move the calendar to the right spot. So I, I thank you for your comments and support. Um, and I would welcome any board members to uh, add any comments they would care to make this morning. Okay, uh, then I believe, uh, Madam Secretary, that uh, I think that completes our hearing for this morning. And I do want to thank you both for coming and giving us your thoughts and to know that we recognize both of the comments you've made about how we can continue to improve and we will continue to work at that. Thank you very, very much. This hearing is adjourned. <laughs>